you guys and welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous or also known as Swatching All the Things. I'm gonna swatch them all. Swatch them all. Um, I am trying to bust through all of the indies I recently bought because A, I want to see them swatched myself and, you know, I want to share that with you. So today we are going to be looking at the Dutch um, brand that I showed you uh, in a recent haul I did, an indie haul. It is a Dutch brand, meaning it's from the Netherlands. I'm, yeah, you probably know what that means. Anyways, uh, but it is also available in the US via, oh gee, what's it called? Color for nail. Com. We're gonna of course leave links down in the description below so you can check their brand out. I have bought five polishes. You've probably already seen me wear the gray with copper feel either on my Instagram or in that haul video I referred to. Uh, and there's four more polishes and then she also sent me a free gift and I'm gonna be swatching all six, six, yes, six of these polishes for you today. And yeah, just have fun with the swatches. I'm trying out this new setup. Um, I'm having a white background because I think it might um, make it more easy for you guys to see the actual colors of the the, uh, the polishes better and I'm also playing around with the lighting situation. Please let me know if this is better for you watching the swatches because I can't really tell because I'm there live in person while I'm doing them. Um, just let me know down in the comments below. So now I will get into swatching. So first up is POS, Purple on Steroids, and this is the polish that got me into checking out La Kester in the first place because I saw somebody else on Instagram, one of the accounts I follow, named this as like her all-time favorite ever polish um and i kind of have to agree it is a gorgeous polish it did take me three coats to get it to match what is in the bottle but as you can see here i'm doing rather thin coats um by the way the brushes are really lovely they are short and stubby sort of like the super chic lacquer ones but not as stubby uh, and a little wider <laughs> but anywho they reminded me of that and they are really really nice and i'm gonna speed you through coat number two and three and then i'm gonna pester you with uh, all kinds of swatch pictures macro pictures macro videos all the good stuff you need to check out how beautiful this polish really is Next up is Dragon Heart, and this one is kind of similar to the POS, but then again, it's not. It has a different formula and it gets opaque quicker. Uh, and there are flakies in there. Yes, you heard that right. There's like a shifting flakies in there, and that's what adds um, an extra something to this polish, even though it's really similar to the POS, but it, in a way, it's not. Um, anyway, this one got nice and opaque in two coats, formula was awesome, brush still is awesome and I overall really really enjoyed this one.
Next up is a Dragonheart Hollow. That's uh, like Dragonheart's uh, older sister, and she um, graduated from Hollow School, and now she has like Hollow glitters in her. <laughs> so basically, it's the same polish, but um, the maker added um, a little bit of um, micro glitter, holographic micro glitter. Gee, girl, get the words out. And this one got a pick uh, better, quicker, more. Opaquer? Is that a word? I don't know. But anyway, formula is a tiny bit better, in my opinion, than uh, on the regular Dragonheart. But then again, this is an indie polish, so it all depends on, um, you know, it, it's all handmade. That's what I meant to say, you know? So it, it every batch is a little different. So that's uh, what, what could possibly cause like these formulas being a little different. <laughs> Moving right along to the first of two gray polishes we're going to be looking at. This one is called Topographic and it is, yes, a taupe color and it's also a very, very strong linear holographic. Awesome formula on this one. Um, worked really well with that, you know, flat brush. Um, as you can see here, I only needed two strokes to, to do my ring finger there. Awesome, like that very much. Also, it got nice and opaque in two coats and the linear hollow on this one is just awesome. And I kind of like, like warm gray tone polishes. I really like them. So this, oh, and I totally forgot to mention up until now, all of these polishes dried like really, really, really shiny and you wouldn't need top coat, you know, to add shine. You, you do want top coat to make them last longer. But uh, as per shininess, they don't need any top coat whatsoever. Up is the second gray polish and this one is Gravit Copperfield, my love. Um, I really love this one. The gray base is oh, again a, a nice warm toned gray and then this one has like coppery um, glitters, hex glitters in there, all kinds of different sizes of it. Um, the glitters come out nicely and uh, using two coats you can get like this awesome jelly sandwich kind of effect that you get from jelly polishes with um, added glitters in there and I just really love this color combination um, and the way those like uh, bronzy uh, or coppery or rose gold whatever you want to call them glitters look on the nail and um, do be warned you do need a peel of base coat or something underneath of this because those glitters they want to stay on ya <laughs> they don't want to let go never ever The last of the bunch is the little inspirational gift that she gave me and this one is kind of along the same lines as the uh, topographic we looked at so it's a strong linear holographic but it has a purple base but it's like a sort of mm, mauve grayed out kind of purple and yeah, that is really neat and this one also had an awesome formula got opaque in two coats right very shiny same awesome brush I really like this one and I was glad that I got it as a free gift.
so that were my quick swatches of the La Kester polishes I bought. I loved all of them, um, but I think my favorite was the Dragonheart Hollow version. It did have a slightly different formula from the regular Dragonheart, and I think it got opaque, more opaque, more easy. You know? You know what I mean? And then, of course, uh, the gray with Copperfield is one of my favorites. I really like that one. And I also like that linear gray holographic that I got for... I, I know why I got it, because it's so gorgeous. It's so freaking gorgeous. And then also that, um, like, inspirational uh, polish she sent me as a free gift that I still have on my nails. And you can see how strong the hollow is in there. <sighs> I kind of like that. It's sort of uh, along the same lines of this top top ographic polish. Ooh, I should screw that shut before I put it on its head. Um, it's sort of along the same lines, but there's definitely more purple in this one as opposed to no purple in the other one. Um, anyways, um, I really enjoyed both of them. So let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite and which other indie brands you know that I probably don't know yet and that I'm happy to check out because I'm always looking for, you know, different kinds of polishes um, to try out. So that's it for today, you guys. Um, thanks again for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye!